Why, hello there everybody. How are you doing today? It's me, again. And again, I'm here to bring you yet another update to my situation. And today's update is the same as all previous updates. My phone has, not, is, has still not rung. And still today, I say yet. My phone has not rung yet. Because it's going to. Because it's going to. You see, I, I have said multiple times over the past three years that the truth is the undefeated, undisputed champion of all time. And after watching this video, you're going to see exactly why, and you're going to understand exactly why I say that, and why that is. And I'm going to use three things that are going on right now, simply because people have chosen to tell the truth. They have taken action. First, this one's going to surprise you all. Kanye West. Now, just so I'm clear, I'm not a fan of Kanye. Nor do I believe that Mr. Con Kanye has had a spiritual awakening. I don't think he's had a, I don't think he's repented. I think he's still lost, as lost can be. I still believe he, he is a, a liberal but he did tell the truth. And this is just going to show you exactly how powerful the truth is, no matter who tells the truth. Kanye West has been tweeting out positive things about President Trump and attacking President Obama. Saying something in one tweet, I think he said something about... Uh, uh, he. Obama didn't do anything for black people in the eight years that he was in office. That's true. That's true. Now, does, is, and, and, and Kanye professes to be a Trump supporter. Okay, good. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Uh, personally, I don't care who you support. But why is he doing that? If he didn't really mean it, then why is he saying it? Well, simple. He, if he did not really mean it, then why did he say that? Why is he coming out now with all of these tweets? Well, it's very simple. Money. He is seeing his, his sales of all the things that he has uh, involved in, as well as Kim's sales and everything that Kim's is involved in going down the tubes going down the tubes so what does he do well he's got he's got to do something to bring attention to himself and he's got to do something to tap into some new money oh look at that light bulbs coming on so what does he do he taps into the conservative market which is where all the money is Democrats don't have all the money it's the conservative. It's the entrepreneurs that have all the, all of the money. Okay, so that's where he's tapping into. He's he's professing that he is one of his. Why? Well, one of ours now. He's one of us. Well, he's not. He's attacking somebody that well everybody hates because the truth has come out. He's attacking someone who well can't def can't cannot attack back. Can't. He's out of office. Now, if Kanye decides to wake up one day and start attacking uh, Booker, uh, Kerosene Maxine, um, uh, and, and all, the, all, all the other leftist, Pelosi, okay, Schumer, if he decides to start attacking them, then I might start believing that he's the real deal. But no, folks, he's just, he's just doing it for attention. He's doing it for money. But it doesn't matter what the motive is, why he's telling the truth. The simple fact is, the truth has the same effect. No matter if the liar tells the truth in an attempt to deceive, in an attempt to make some money, 
or if the law-abiding citizen tells the truth simply because it's, it's, it is the correct thing to do. It, the truth has the same effect. And you're seeing all these news articles now of how, oh man, this is, how, why is this, why is, why is Kanye's support of President Trump, why are Conway's tweets so deadly? Well, because they're truthful. They're telling the truth. And that's going to open up people's eyes. No, Kanye's not. Kanye has not had a change of heart. I still believe that he is. You have to remember who this man is. Remember, he he is the one who professed to be God, or at the very least, professed to be a god. He is the one that jumped up on the stage and interrupted another artist, and basically said that you, you don't deserve that. You know what, what he told Taylor Swift. I think it was 2009, I think. I can't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep up with him. I don't care. But this is, no, this is, a, he did that all for money. Plain and simple. Now, how else powerful is the truth? Once you start moving on the truth. Well, the, I keep, I'm, I'm going to bring back up California again. I don't know if you all heard, but California, the vast majority of the state, wants to become its own state, wants to become New California. And these people are not playing games. They, are, they already have the borderline marked up. And why? Plain and simple, they are tired of flipping the bill for all the liberal, for all the liberal, uh, for all the illegals, for all the sanctuary cities. They're tired of it. It's basically, they are... They are, and they're doing everything by the book, just so you know, okay? They, it's basically, they are, uh, it's taxation without representation. They are flipping the bill for policies that they have no say in. Plain and simple. So they already have the state divided up, and it's, what, what it, what's, what's so funny is, it's just the left coast, literally, the coastline. Literally, the coastline, the southern coastline, is going to remain California, and the, uh, the 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 rest of the state is 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 going to be New California. The only thing that these people have to do is prove that they can self-govern. So what that means is they have to set up their own little districts. They have to choose a, ca a capital city for their for their new state. And, and it's going to take a minute. But these people are doing everything by the book. They're doing everything according to the Constitution. Because they're, they, they realize the truth is they can do it. They're not just talking about doing it. These people are serious about doing it. And it will not surprise me in the least bit if it does. Or should I say, it, it will not surprise me in the least bit when it actually happens. But it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time to set everything up. But these people are doing it. They are doing it. And again, by the book. They're not just creating some kind of social, some kind of uh, political, uh, they're, they're not creating some kind of fake movement. They're taking action. Because the truth of the matter is, they can do it. All they have to do is see it through. So, guess what? America, it won't be very long before we will have a 51st state. Let's just see what happens. Now, what would happen to the old California? I'm going to tell you what would happen to the old California. It would the, the socialist California would shrivel up and die because they would no longer be getting the tax dollars from new California that they are currently now. So, they, the socialist state would have to stand on its own, and the socialist state can't stand on its own. Now, the third thing that I want to talk about is diamond and silks. Little uh, thing before Congress. I watched it. And the same thing there. This is the reason why truth, this is the reason why truth clears the field. This is why truth is the undefeated, undisputed champion of all times. Is because these women told the truth, and then only the Democrats did not want to question them. 
they showed proof, they told the truth, they showed the evidence of what was, of, of, of how Facebook and, and, and TubeU and Twitter and all those people are shutting down their feeds. Not only them, but uh, other people, uh, um, uh, uh, God, I can't remember the name of it, uh, PragerU, um, uh, Pundit, something Pundit, I can't remember. I, it's off, I can't remember right now. But the point is, when the truth is presented, and you show the figures, you show how numbers have dropped, and then the liars come out and they're instantly they're instantly outed for being a liar because they say well it's not there's uh, there's no evidence of these these congressmen actually said there is no evidence of this happening why are we sitting here talking about this because it it just it just doesn't happen because well we say it just doesn't happen that's the power of the truth and what do what did the congressmen now remember, Diamond and Silk are two black conservatives. They used to be Democrats; they're now Republicans. And who were these two black women attacked by uh, the most viciously? Why, two black Democrats or two black liberals? And what do the two black liberals, Democrat socialists, is what they really are? What do, what do they say? Well, they make it all about money and how bad it is for money. How, money. how bad money is. And the only reason why you're up here is so you can make some more money. There you go. That's the definer. When, hello, uh, Diamond said, no, 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 hold on a second. Anybody, all of these social media platforms have, have the ability for its users to make money. They, what's different about us and them, is they are cutting us off. They are not allowing us to utilize those functions, but are allowing other people to do so. In a nutshell, limiting the reach, and then, and then you hear some very communist points of view, again, from the Democrats. From the Democrats, you know, they bring out their little lawyer people and their, their own little puppet people who are basically saying, well, we can do this because we're in charge. No, no. And, 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 and how is that truth? Well, the truth is now you see everybody in their little camp. You see exactly where everybody, where everybody stands about everything. Now, the question that remains, the, the, the only question that needs to be asked is, what exactly are you going to do? Are you going to be just a follower of somebody? Are you going to are you going to say somebody's right just simply because what they say? Because if that's the case, then then Conway Conway uh, Kanye is now a staunch Republican simply because he said he he says in a few tweets that he supports President and he's a Trump supporter. And, again, if you believe that, if, if you just believe it just because somebody says it, well, then Facebook can do whatever in the world that they want to do. They can cut anybody off that they want to. And the only reason why Diamond and Silk are doing it is because, is to make money. Because that's what the two Democrats said. See how that works? No, you see, you've got to find out what the truth is. One's the truth, one's a lie. What's the motive behind what you're saying? What is the motive behind what you were saying? Why do you say what you say? Do you say what you say? Do you believe what you believe simply because it's it, 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 you're parroting somebody else's uh, voice, somebody else's belief? Or do you say what you say because, well, that's what you really believe? Are you willing to stand, just like Diamond and Silk did, just like Diamond and Silk did. Diamond and Silk sat there and man, shit, man, they, they, didn't, they didn't take it. They dished it out. They spanked the people. They told those two congress, uh, those two congressmen and what man, they told the congressman and the congresswoman, put them in, in their place. And 
we can all see now the, the, the truth. And we can all see we all see clearly now who's telling the truth, and we can all see now who's clearly telling a lie. Who's lying to you? And if they're lying to you, as remember, if these people are lying to you as a public official, then they are then they that's a criminal act. So says the law. So says their oath. Period. So now what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna just sit there and say that there's nothing that you can do? Or are you going to find out what you can do, just like those people out in California have done? And are you going to start working on what you can do and stop worrying about what you can't, what you can't do? Because what you're going to find out is, well, there's absolutely nothing that you cannot do. That is, unless you choose not to do it. One more time, real slow. There is absolutely nothing that you cannot do unless, of course, you choose to simply not do. Think about that for a little bit, folks. Just saying.